Gemma Riki down there with the red bib number. Has that qualifying mark for the World Championship. She's the only athlete in the field with it. If Gemma Riki can win this race or come second, she will automatically qualify for the World Championships. But the likes of Ellie Baker, Isabel Boffy and Jenny Selman right on the bubble in terms of qualifying from a world ranking. So anything they can do in this race here today at the UK Championships will help their case when they move towards looking at those rankings and trying to get selected for the World Championships. We can have four women in this discipline at the World Championships, thanks to Keely Hodgkinson winning the Diamond League last year. But this doesn't look like it's super quick. Isabel Boffy taking the field through the first 231 seconds. They were into that headwind down on the back straight. Gemma Riki happy to sit on the shoulder of Isabel Boffy. Ellie Baker just pinned on the inside there. Finch poised to lead the race. She loves to lay, lead and push the pace on. Abigail Ives moving wide on the outside, as she did in her heat, just trying to give herself a shot at the lead. Well, it's not quick. Gemma Riki looking for a return to form. So many athletes have suffered with uh, injury problems and with uh, related illnesses to COVID, but they go through 400 meters, 66, 43. It's desperately slow, and that uh, makes it virtually anybody's race. And, and Boffy in this sort of situation might fancy her chances, Anna, because she has got a lot of power. She's good over the last 300. Isabel Boffy probably has got the best 400 meter PB out of this field, but that's a tricky position. They hit the wind on this back straight. Isabel Boffy leaning into the back straight and that wind. Gemma Riki just on her shoulder. Ellie Baker's pinned on the inside, but she's staying out of trouble. She's running the shortest line and you gamble that there's going to be some gaps opening up as they move into this last 200. There goes Isabel Boffy. She's lifting the pace every time she goes through each 100 metres. Gemma Riki tried to get past Isabel Boffy there, but she lifted her pace ever so slightly. Ellie Baker at the moment, only athlete able to go with these top two. Jenny Salmon fighting to get back in the picture. 80 metres to go. Gemma Riki pulls up alongside Isabel Boffy. Ellie Baker finds some gaps there in the middle of the pack, but Gemma Riki just holding off Ellie Baker. Gemma Riki with a 59 second last lap. She slaps her legs. She raises her arms aloft. That is Ellie Baker on the plane. Gemma Riki on the plane for the World Championships, sharing a hug with her friend Ellie Baker. Great silver medal for Ellie Baker. Isabel Boffy having to settle for third, just run out of it in the closing stages. Well, what a contrasting race to the men's where uh, Max Bergen took everybody out hard and fast and kept it that way for the whole two laps in that race. 66 and 59, about a seven second differential between the two laps. Of course, negative splits. Gemma Riki, though, forced to dig really deep there by Baker, who was so determined to prove more to the selectors in that uh, final 50 metres. And uh, you have to give credit to him, to, to Boffy as well as Bob Boffy, who gave everything on that uh, final lap battling away down the home straight here to make the others world hungry. Jenny Selman couldn't go with them, but Riki, we know, has got that world-class uh, quality, fourth in the Olympics last year and first here today. Really good run from Gemma Riki. She struggled indoors, transpired afterwards. She was struggling with glandular fever. We didn't know that at the time. We just thought she looked a little bit off the boil, but just looking better with every week and every month that passes. She took the title she couldn't get last year. She had to step up a second behind Hodgkinson. But Gemma Riki today joins her teammate Laura Muir as UK champion. So Laura Muir take the 1500 metres yesterday, yesterday evening. Ellie Baker, that's a great second place for her. Isabel Boffey rewarded for that front running tactic with her first senior medal. Confirmed result there. Just under a quarter of a second was the winning margin for Gemma Riki of Kilbarkin AC, another Scottish winner in the endurance races. Ellie Baker in second place and Isabel Boffey third place. Jenny Selman closing hard. Emily with fourth place. 18-year-old Abigail Ives finishing well to clinch that fifth place.